Oh. Whoa. <laughs> Walk in the street in. <laughs> we almost had an accident. <laughs> so we're here at the bamboo rafting area. This guy is, I guess, pulling up some rambutan. That's how you pull rambutan the old fashioned way. So, this is the bamboo rough that we're going to take today. You bring to uh, the lake. What? This one. Bamboo rafting. Yeah. Ah. This is where we're going to do bamboo rafting. Well, the water is quite clear here. The current is quite strong. So I believe this bamboo rafting thing is going to last about 15 to 20 minutes. Because the end point is not far from here. We've driven past through the end point just now. And looking at the current and the flow of the river. Uh, should be around 15 minutes minimum probably maximum 20 minutes all the people are getting distracted from the rambutan I'm here exploring so this is the start point of the bamboo rafting area and they're gonna load up the bamboo the raft here the bamboo raft into the river Let's see how they do that. Oh. Well, I saw a video on YouTube about yesterday about the bamboo rafting accident happened. We're not getting any life jacket here. So, have to be very careful. The water looks deep but not deep, probably about a meter <laughs> so bamboo rafting <laughs> I'm bamboo rafting in Phuket, Thailand here about to get very wet luckily I have the waterproof bag here from overboard I bought about a month ago just for this trip and yeah enough of showing my face let's show you what I'm looking at so this tour here is called the Kaulak Safari oh whoa <laughs> walk in the street in <laughs> we almost had an accident but the current is not that strong. I think I should be able to swim here. Although it looks really deep, but I think I should be fine. But let's hope nothing happens. Let's get a shot of the river here. Let's see what's underneath. Probably not a 
what I did. No, I just... My Andy field is wet now. Not a good idea. Let's clean it up. It's not good when it's wet because then the sun glare, you know, will... Reflection of the sun will creep into the, the lens. Almost had an accident again. <laughs> wow, this is this must be the roughest bamboo rafting ever. Wow. <laughs> Oh, it look it does looks deep actually. It looks really deep actually. I can see it's clear. But oh we're going downstream here in front. Um let's see how well they they fare against nature this time around. We're speeding up. We're taking on speed now. And we're going downstream, we're blowing the current right now. Oh, there's a rock. Watch out. We don't want to get toppled down here. Uh, but they're very highly experienced. Oh, there's rapids down there. Let's see how well this bamboo fare against the rapids. Going down. Whoa. 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 We're fighting the rapids right now. We're about to get stuck. I think we're stuck. Whoa. He has to jump down because I think we're, we're stuck. Oh. We're trying to maneuver some stuff. And this is. Really fun. Although I'm extremely wet right now, my pants, but luckily I have my swimsuit. Not a suit, but. Whoa! The people behind us are catching up. Oh, I guess we're being, we're almost being overtaken here. Come on, you gotta do better than this. I want to be number one. Uh, I'm not a lot of rapid here right now, currently. It has died down. So I'm just gonna relax and sun tan. I wonder what type of animals or fishes we have living in this lake here. Probably some, um, I don't know, salmon maybe? Probably not. Not the salmon in Thailand, although I'm not really sure. Going down, going down here. I'm filming this way because the sun is pointing to my face, so it's a bit clearer now. Whoa, but we're speeding up! We're taking on speed! Let's face this way back. We're taking on speed now. Things are going to get a little crazy. Bamboo rafting in Thailand, Phuket. I think they're stuck. Oh, that's a problem. I'm now on the Hero 5 instead of the Hero 7. Quality is not going to be great, but this is what we're going to have to do right now. So we're back on track with the bamboo rafting. There's a couple of accidents behind there. Not sure what, what accident it is, probably stuck somewhere. So now we're number one as we always aspire to be. 
We're the first one out of the four bamboo raft. And yeah, I think this camera is better because it's not wet. Oh, lighter. They found a lighter. Do not litter, guys. Do not litter on the on the beautiful lake of Thailand. <laughs> Oh, we're about to go downhill again. Massive rapids coming up in front of us. Although, uh, I believe we're close to the ending point. Oh, no, we're not number one. I thought we're number one. Oh, probably it's not a fair game because those people must have taken off way, way, way um, ahead of us. But we're, we're catching up, which is a good thing to do. Well, it's not really fair because we have two people pedaling the rough instead of one whereas the other bamboo raft they're all just one people pedaling swim swim oh i'd rather not swim no swim i don't want to get my shirt wet swim not a good idea oh the rapids picking up again let me just put this down for a moment so i can clip my back just in case we had an accident and I can swim away <laughs> with my back instead of my back flowing down um, the river here which is not good because all my gears and my cameras are in this bag so, right, so now we're safe and secure and also this bag will act as a life buoy for me because I've packed it with a lot of air so just in case anything happens but we might never know let's hope nothing happens but we have to be prepared for everything because I do heard there's a lot of accident um, tourists being taken away from the river although it's not really deep but it, it could be quite dangerous because there's a lot of rocks here and so we always 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 have to be careful oh we're picking up speed again go faster <laughs> go faster guys there's two of us come on we can do it I have to be careful because I don't want to drop my GoPro in the river because I'm pretty sure I won't get it back. I'm not holding with the stick anymore. Alright, it has died down again. Um, yeah, it's clear. But I do believe the villagers do drop their droppings here, like their sewage and stuff. It flows all the way to the river. <coughs> this ends here. Oh, I just blew the ends into the river. I'm sorry, ends, but I don't think you will survive. I wonder how you got to me in the first place. Probably dropped from the tree or something due to the wind. Oh, my hand is in the shot. I apologize. I didn't realize. Because the sun is glaring on the screen here and it's really difficult for me to see the screen. So it has died down. So we're almost here at the end. This is the ATV area. Uh, it's different from the other area that I went to do ATV. This area is called the Khao Lak. Hopefully I pronounce it correctly. Whereas the other area that I went for ATV ride is somewhere in Phuket, somewhere. But definitely not here. It's about an hour and a half away by van to come here. But I think it is really worth it here. This is Khao Lak Safari. The tour here, I think I paid about 1,100 baht. Whereas for Asian, because they do have two different prices. So if you're a, a Westerner, I'm living in the West or Europe, I believe they'll charge you probably more. So you just be careful here. And maybe look at club.com, although it is not sponsored, but I do believe that they do provide cheaper rates. And I booked one of my trips to Phi Phi Island via Klook.com 
and it is way 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 cheaper it's about 43 Singapore dollars 43 Australian dollars as well so I believe we're at the end point maybe oh, the river here looks really deep I'm guessing about three meters deep probably not no, they do they do told me the tour guide told me earlier that it is now during high tide whereas during low tide it will not be as deep as this but oh they do plunge a stick of bamboo here and yeah I'm guessing it's about two meters look at the stick of bamboo it's really well yeah yeah I believe it's about probably two meters more towards the center or one and a half meters but Wow, it's, it sounds rather quiet and serene here. Really peaceful and calm. And covered by the shades as well. The canopies, trees. Oh, I believe. Let's try this. Let's help them a little bit with this. Probably not a good idea. <laughs> I don't wanna. I don't want to disturb their work here, they're doing such a good job. Okay, we're heading into strong current territory again. Coming up. Alright, let's embrace this. We got a moment of peace for about two minutes just now. And now we're on again with the current. Bon voyage! Wow, they almost trip. Oh! All right, keep your head down, guys. The one behind me is just accompanying me, probably to balance out the whole thing. That's why um, I, there's two people here in the boat with me, in the rough, <laughs> just to balance things out. So I guess that's why I have two here. Uh, we're now going sideways instead of straight. We're moving sideways now. On with the current. Well, I almost toppled over <laughs> earlier on in the start, whereas now they finally get the hang of of this bamboo rough here. And yeah, it's rather a bit silky and slippery and a bit yeah a bit milky in a, in a sense. Not really the right term to use, but yeah. But I wonder how long this bamboo rough have been around for. I tried to communicate with them earlier on but they don't un really understand what I was saying. If not, I could have asked them a couple of questions like how long have they worked here and how long have they been, um, I guess that's a dumb question to ask, how long have they been in Thailand, probably for the rest of their life, but how long have they worked here and um, how do the people around here, here make a living? So I guess probably from tourism, a lot of them I realize are from tourism. And is there any exotic animals here like anacondas or tigers or anything? But yeah, it's a bit of a bummer because we have language problem here, language barrier, not a problem. I take back my words. But yeah, if not I could have asked them a couple of those questions. Oh, we're on again! We're on again with the current! Oh, oh no, oh no, we almost got struck by the branch, by the trunk. Oh, and now we're spinning backwards. <laughs> oh, you're doing a good job. <laughs> Finish. Okay, thank you. All right, we've done. Okay, Ken. All right. Thank you so much. All right. Are you going there? I just wait here. Okay. Well, will I see you again? Down there. Will I see you again? <laughs> well, I want to give you some tips, but you've got no... You've got no wallet. Take the bus, driver. Okay, okay. Then. Yeah, I want... I wanted to give them some tip, but... I don't want to give them cash and then it got wet. 
because I don't really, I don't believe they have any like wet wet pouch or something like that to put the, the money. So they told me to tip the driver and hopefully the driver will, will tip them and yeah. But that's the end of the bamboo rafting tour here in Kaulak Safari, Phuket. And I'll see you guys on my next video. Alright. I'm trying to film other people here. Let's see. Oh. How come they're getting an extension? Oh, how come they're... They're going way, way, way further downstream than us. Oh. Maybe they have a 5 kilometer rough and maybe mine was just 3 kilometer rough. I'm not really too sure. But I wasn't informed. I would, it would have been nicer to go down further downstream. But I guess this shall do for now. But yes, I'm gonna end it here. I said it earlier on, but I'm gonna end it here really. And I'll see you on my next video. Hopefully this has been enjoyable for you to watch as much as it has been quite enjoyable for me to film.